And as we all brace for this wintry weather, local leaders are concerned about the criteria the city of Denver is using to activate its daytime warming centers. Denver 7's Patrick Perez is live tonight and going deeper into a very interesting meeting that unfolded today in a city council committee. Patrick? Yeah, Jessica, I would say interesting is an understatement. So here's the gist of the story. Earlier this year, several city departments got together to craft some sort of criteria for how and when to open its warming centers. Well, that all seemed to have fallen apart today as some council members questioned the reasoning behind it. It was, how did we get to those numbers? Who informed that? At a council committee meeting Wednesday, questions and a lot of back and forth about Denver's new thresholds for activating its warming centers. So I think this is a work in progress, I guess is my, my answer. We've continued to make refinements and we will um, do a deep dive on this public health impacts of temperature and activations. I understand you're revising it, but what was just presented to us feels quite inconsistent. The thresholds the Department of Housing Stability had presented just moments prior were temperatures below 10 degrees or six inches or more of snow forecasted. Community advocates have criticized those thresholds because they're stricter than what the city has had in the past. You know, there's really uh, no medical justification given. They had no uh, medical reason for setting the standards at that. And despite several city agencies working together this past spring to determine those thresholds, DDPHE's Greg Thomas admits the data used to craft them is 20 years old and has no medical backing. Right, we have a criteria in there, winter storm watch, six inches or more. Well, if it snows four inches, that's probably not that much better than if it snows six inches. Now that we have the concept of daytime warming or cooling centers, we are going to revisit those thresholds. Why the city would come forward with new criteria for its warming centers, it wasn't prepared to back publicly confused advocates like Therese Howard. Pretty striking that we have policies in place uh, in this city that are uh, not based on any sort of medical standards and that are um, life-threateningly dangerous for the houseless community who's surviving these winters. She and some council members hope the city can go back to the drawing board and come up with criteria that makes the most sense for our most vulnerable. I would like to see revisions to these numbers ASAP. So I can now confirm that after all the back and forth between council members, the Department of Housing Stability and DDPHE at this morning's meeting, the city is now going to reevaluate the thresholds that it crafted just earlier this year. This is going to happen within the next few weeks. I can also confirm that warming centers will open tomorrow and Friday ahead of this wintry weather we are expecting. Anne. Oh, thank you, Patrick. And